welcome back to another video and another coffee this video is sponsored by urban brew coffee pods they are an australian company with ethically sourced coffee beans that are roasted here in australia their company is really working towards sustainability with compostable coffee pods and sustainable packaging. Get yourself the most delicious cup of coffee you'll ever taste and use this code here for a discount. Thank you to Urban Brew for sponsoring today's video. Now let's get cleaning. It's been a fair few weeks since we have tackled the fridge and it's showing there's crumbs, there is water. I hate my fridge you guys, look at this water build up. This is what happens in a fortnight if I don't empty them out and literally my produce just drowns. Oh my gosh, it's all ice. So as you just saw, this is completely caked in ice at the bottom. And that makes sense because I've been pulling the drawer out and it's been getting stuck. And I just thought it was because the broccoli was hitting the top of the veggie capsule. But no, it's ice. So supermarkets don't sell them anymore when you buy your produce because of sustainability but I use these little plastic containers to keep all my produce safe, they're like little boats because it fills up with water as you'll see in one second here and it's just so bad, look at this. A fortnight you guys I didn't do this in a fortnight and that is what I get so we're just going to give it a wipe down with the doTERRA dishwashing liquid and of course my little scrub mummy who is my best friend in the whole entire world so we've got some pink mold in here from the water being sitting in there so we're gonna give that a scrub and it comes off so beautifully with little old scrub mummy So now that we've done the fruit drawer, we're going to move on to the veggie drawer and do the exact same thing, except my little boats were messy. Now that they're done, we can move on to the fridge. So I'm just going to pull everything off the shelves and go in with little old scrub mummy and clean them all up. Again, with the multi-purpose surface spray from doTERRA, this thing is the bomb. You can use it on any surface that you like, tables, kitchens, anything. So today is the fridge and we're literally going to be using just one spray because it does it all. 
So doTERRA is an essential oil company but they also have a whole range of products that are low tox and available straight for you to go and clean your home. I love that I can use this in my fridge which is around food so there's no harsh chemicals that are around any food that can contaminate it and harm our beautiful little children and ourselves. I've been thinking about making a video about all my low tox hacks or even doTERRA hacks so if that would interest you please let me know in the comments below so then I can get working on that. And how weird that this actually looks like a face. I feel like I'm cleaning someone's face. <laughs> also, how satisfying is this? So I guess I found the culprit of where it's leaking and where the ice is coming from. So I don't know what to do with that, but that could be what it is. In my bed of truck, I didn't look back, didn't give up. I got my first real kiss behind the coffee shop, thought he was the one. So I'm interested in knowing, do you guys meal plan and do weekly shops to those meals or do you go to the shop every day and get the supplies that you need or what's your tactic? I do weekly and it kind of works, kind of. <laughs> So this is the finished product and we've got some groceries on the way, they're about to be delivered. So stay tuned for a grocery haul and then we'll put them back into the fridge. Now I'm not one to leave a job half finished so I was looking at the outside of the fridge and it needs some love as well. So again, we're going in with the multi-purpose surface spray and scrub mummy. Can you see the pattern here? We were crazy in love, careless and young, but I wouldn't change it. 
You had me right from the start You gave me your all But something changed, yeah And I know, I know, I know I sometimes drive you crazy Yeah, I know, I know, I know I sometimes drive you crazy Stop it and I think that's why Stop it, you're being really mean <laughs> So I have some tape on my fridge and it's left a little bit of sticky residue so this is a little bit of a hack that you can do. So a couple of drops of a citrus essential oil, I usually use lemon but today I'm using wild orange and it's actually come up really nicely so just a citrus oil and that will break down the gooey residue and take it straight off for you. Another thing it does is it actually makes your appliances shine so bright. So I'm just adding a couple of drops to this paper towel and I'm just going to wipe it over and soon you'll start to see the shine come through. Another thing that you probably aren't aware of, but not only does it smell beautiful and shine so nicely, it's really antibacterial as well. So you're not just getting an aromatic benefit, you're also getting an antibacterial deep clean on your fridge surface. So I love all my planners from Steph Pace, she's amazing, but I definitely love this chore chart for Isaiah, he so loves it. He loves the satisfaction of ticking off his jobs once he's done it, he gets to choose what jobs he wants, if he wants one job or whether he wants to fill all the boxes, that's completely up to him, but it's super cute, we love it. So now that the front of the fridge is clean, we need to get rid of the eyesores that are on top of it, like this broken tray. It's um, just about to crack, so I've put it up there for safekeeping, I guess. But the fridge is done and looking beautiful, but there is still eyesores. So we're going to tackle this little nook up here, and then I promise we're done and we're getting into the grocery haul. Driving down the road that I grew up on once again It's when I pass your door the memories come back again Pictures of us flooding back just like a wave Makes me wonder what happened, what you're up to today Remember when we stole your mother's car, we drove for days Teenagers with too many feelings and rage We were higher than the ceiling Middle fingers to the sky I remember thinking if I only could stop the time Way back when We didn't care what they said People could stare I didn't give a damn Cause I was beat Back when we didn't care what they said People could stare, I didn't give a damn Cause all I needed was my friend Way back when Way back when Way back when Remember when my father taught us how to play guitar Started up a band in my garage We thought our dream would take us so 
far But after a week or so It all just fell apart But we were higher than the ceiling Middle fingers to the sky I remember thinking If I only could stop the time Right now, way back when You didn't care what they said People could stare at did So while my groceries are here, I thought I'd do a quick haul. We'll see how we go because little man is very, very tired. So it may end up being a voiceover, but it may end up being an in-person chat. <laughs> so while we do the grocery haul, <laughs> so I thought I'd start with the tomatoes that did not come like this, but while I was getting everything on the bench, Someone took two big giant bites out of both of them. What am I meant to do with that? Okay, so I shopped at Woolies this time just for plain ease because I wanted it delivered. Usually I would do an Audi, Woolies, Farmer Jack's, Spud Shed mixed shop because I just like different things, different costs. So it's really good to shop around. Um, but it's raining, the kids have been horrible this week, so, and I wanted to get this fridge clean for obvious reasons, you guys just saw. Um, so yeah, let's go through these and then we can put little grumpy man to bed. As you can see, he's digging for some booby. You want some milky? Digging for some milky. Say hi everybody. Oh, there's Isaiah too. Hi. Isaiah's got no pants on though, so you gotta stay right there. <laughs> Okay, Hi so, everybody. so we're going to do a grocery haul. We're going to do a grocery haul. <laughs> Alright, let's do this. Let's do this. Hi. Okay, so here's what we ordered. I've got three cans of apricot nectar. I always keep them in the pantry. I always keep a stock of all of these because I use them quite a bit chickpeas in salads and stews and all the things so always got a couple of cans of them tomatoes as you guys know are a staple in most dishes so we have diced tomatoes always in the pantry apricot nectar again paprika um, i've been using quite a bit of this on a lot of recipes so paprika smoked i've got some almond nut butter I haven't tried this brand before um, and I would usually buy mine at a health food store however I needed it today and I'm not leaving the house today so <laughs> almond butter it is I'll let you know how it goes some corn relish it's my hubby's favorite on silver side sandwiches so he takes those to work these are my little 3.30 snack with my coffee. I have a honey and nut chocolate chip biscuit pack with my coffee. So those are staple. <laughs> I bought some clicks because just trying to fill my kids' bowls for snack time has been really hard. And Isaiah's outgrown jats or he's just had enough of them for a while. So I thought we would do clicks this time. So we'll see how that goes. I've got this milk because I haven't sourced any raw milk yet. So if you guys are local to Perth, please let me know if you have any and I'll come and get it weekly. <laughs> a cauliflower. I was going to say cabbage, but it is not. <laughs> um, a cauliflower. I like to chop them up into little steaks, put paprika on them and heaps of salt and sauce sometimes it's super yummy it's like a little palmy you can put cheese on cheese on the top and it's like the palmy so then i've got some croissants these are really unhealthy and i don't actually know why i bought them i never usually do but yeah we have these these are good snacks they're good hot or cold so there's those some bread when i don't make it I've got some eggs. I don't usually get this brand either, but they looked okay. And I always check them because something always goes wrong with eggs in delivery. Oh, it's a hair. I thought that was a crack. They look okay for eggs. <laughs> I 
I've got some chicken drumsticks because I love doing those again with paprika um, and a whole heap of herbs and then just roast them up in some lemon. It's delicious. Always have a couple of cans of tuna in my cupboard because we always have like curry tuna bakes so they're really good as well. I've also got some baking melts because we're going to do a whole heap of baking this week. We've stopped buying snacks that's why my shop is a lot smaller but i've tried to stop buying snacks and making them so heaps of like healthier recipes <laughs> i say healthier as i'm talking about chocolate but anyway <laughs> so yeah we're gonna try that this week so grape tomatoes another staple in salads crackers all the things <gasps> where's bro oh he's got a sock on i've got some cooking salt cooking salt because we've just run out i use this in my sourdough i use it in my baking and everything so always got cooking salt on hand again plain flour same deal i've bought these i thought i got three but i've only got two so i have to check the receipt for that um but i've got the nudie probiotic smoothie and we're not having it as juice we are going to be making this with or making gummies with these so with some collagen and good powders. So we're gonna be doing that. Got a watermelon. We love snacking on watermelon. That looks a bit gross. Um, rock melon. Isaiah has just found a love for rock melon. So we've got that. So we have oats every single morning. We try to make a new recipe every time. Like we steam apples in the thermo mix and put them on top. We do bananas, we do cranberries, blueberries, all the things. Not blueberries at the moment because they're so freaking expensive. <laughs> but rolled oats, kiwi fruit, that would even be good on our oats. So I'm gonna give that a go. They were stupidly expensive as well. And that is all. So that's our little grocery haul. If you guys like that, let me know. I will do more because I do grocery hauls. Oh grocery hauls i do grocery shops every week obviously um so if you guys do like seeing what we have i can share a bit more about that i can share recipes we make i can share all the things that we are baking this week for our snacks because we're going to bake our snacks yeah. i'm even i'm even going to attempt to make our own muesli bars so wish me luck um yeah so just basically everything we bought in a packet i'm going to try and replace with my skills my skills do you think i can do it yeah challenge accepted so yeah i could show some of those recipes with you guys as well if you're interested if of course they work if they fail i'll just try again because <laughs> we don't yeah. give up do we no nope. we keep. just keep trying practice makes perfect right yeah <laughs> <laughs> okay so thanks for watching and i'm gonna put all this away in my nice clean fridge my pantry i can't say the same but yeah We'll see you guys later. Bye. Bye. <laughs> you can't reach. <laughs> I won't say goodbye yet. Can I change your mind?